Hey everyone, it's Rebecca McAdam for Card Player TV here, midway through day two of the Poker Stars EPT Grand Final in Monte Carlo, and we caught up with Chris Moneymaker, who has built himself quite a nice stack. You look like you're having a great day there at the tables. Your stack has come on in leaps and bounds. Yeah, I've had a good good run today. Um, only made one bad play, which for me is a miracle. Um, <laughs> You know, it's uh, it's been a good day. I haven't had any bad breaks, um, so and I got in one big race and I won that one. And that's what it takes to win a tournament. So, okay. so there were there were a few key pots then. Uh, there were yeah one key pot um, and then a lot of just small pots. Okay, are you gonna bully your table a little bit or are you gonna sit tight? Both. <laughs> no, it just depends. Um, you know, I got a big stack here to my left who's playing solid and. Uh, you know, everybody else, if he if he wasn't sitting to my left, I could probably bully a lot more. But, uh, you know, I, I plan on accumulating chips the rest of the day. We don't see you at a lot of European events. Do you find them different to, say, playing the WSOP? Well, it's just so long to get out here. I mean, uh, I play, I try to play two or three a year. Um, it's just the travel to get over here. Then my body, I've never done great over here. Uh, I, my time clock is always off. So I came over this time and I tried to get to sleep on time. And I got 10 hours the first day. And I got some good sleep last night. So actually, I feel refreshed and uh, yeah, I feel better. So hopefully uh, that momentum can continue and yeah, we'll see. What do you think of Monte Carlo, even the tournament and the place itself? Oh, Monte Carlo is incredible. It's, you know, I go to London and I go to Monte Carlo every year. It's my two favorite stops. Um, you know, the top three tournaments in the world right now are probably the World Series of Poker, PCA, and then Monte Carlo. So uh, I, I love coming here and uh, it's going to be a tradition. I've done it for six years now, have had zero success. Um, this is actually the best I've done here, so uh, you know, uh, hopefully this continues, and I'll, I'll be back next year if not. We were just talking about the European fashion sense and style. So some uh, interesting styles here today. What do you think of that? It's definitely different. I mean, you know, I'm in t-shirt and sweats. I mean, that's how I play poker. Uh, people are in suits. They're in things I've never seen before. It's a uh, it's a different atmosphere over here. If you're if you come from America or just about anything else in the world. It's, it's different. It's uh, definitely unique. As Chris mentioned, we do things a little bit differently around these parts. We put together some of our favorite Euro looks so far in this event. Well, personally, as an Irish woman, I think some of these looks are slightly over the top, but I may have found the right look for me. I'm Rebecca McAdam for Cardplayer TV.